from the first look itself we could easily understand which is our transformer that means we could identify which is our transformer the power transformer or the distribution transformer if on the primary side of the transformer three conductors are connected to the bushings and on the secondary side of the transformer if another three set of the conductors are going outside then we could easily say that it is a power transformer and if suppose on the secondary side of the transformer if one more conductor is coming out of a bushing that means the four wire are coming out of this transformer okay on this case we can say that it is the distribution transformer you know this fourth conductor is the neutral and this neutral is going to use for the single phase loads that means always the power transformer is delta delta conductor that means three conductors on the primary and three conductors on the secondary side and always the distribution transformer is delta y conductor means three conductors on the primary side and four wires on the secondary side and you know the power transformer is used only for the transmission purpose so here there is no need of the neutral conductor the power transformer may be step down or step up Generally, the voltages that can be handled by the power transformers are 11 kV, 33, 66, 70 to 110, 220, 400 kV, just like that. Suppose it is a generating station from where we are generating a voltage of 11 kV. Okay, and this 11 kV is converted to 220 kV. That means here we are stepping up this a voltage and after this this high voltage is transmitted to a long distance that means it would be hundreds or thousands of kilometers and then this voltage would reach a substation okay on the substation you know there would be number of transformers suppose here is a another power transformer on which we are converting that to 20 kV power to 110 kV okay see here I just mentioned the step up is taking place over here and stepping down taking place over here that means the power transformers are stepping up and stepping down the voltages and here is a distribution transformer and you know always the distribution transformer is handling the voltage level of 11 kV and 415 generally it is happening on the industry and you know always the distribution transformer is step down transformer here the 11 kV is converted to 415 volt. Okay. I already told you we would not connect any load to the power transformer but in some cases there would be an exception for that. Suppose it is an industry okay in which there is a power transformer and this transformer is converting the 33 kV to 11 kV and here on the secondary side there is a bus bar. In this bus bar there are number of transformers okay and this transformer is 11 kV transformer it is converting 11 kV to 415 voltage okay and on this same bus bar we are taking a single connection to a motor maybe this motor is 100 kilowatt or 200,000 kilowatt like that okay so here we are just giving the power to this motor directly from this power transformer because this motor needs the 11 kV power. It means in some cases, in the case of big motors, we are giving direct connection from the power transformer. So always the big motors need the three conductors, means the three phases. It does not require the neutral conductor. The power transformer, I told you, it is handling the high voltage. And due to that high level of protection is needed in the power transformer. We are already familiar with the Buchholz relay and the differential protection. Okay. And the next thing is the load fluctuation is very less in the case of the power transformer. Because the load does not connect directly to the power transformer. But in some cases, I told you in the case of this industry, uh, we connected the motor to the uh, power transformer. Only in that cases, there would be some load fluctuation but generally there would not be or maybe negligible load fluctuation and due to the less load fluctuation the losses in the power transformer is also very less this means mainly the copper losses and the iron loss the copper losses means i square r losses means it is mainly depends on the current it means whenever there is a high fluctuation on this current then there would be very high losses for this copper okay then this iron loss is mainly depends on the voltage because we would not connect directly the load to the power transformer the voltage fluctuation is also very less 
and next about the efficiency of the power transformer generally it will be more than 90 percentage you know why the power transformer is always more efficient because the losses is very less the next i want to say some things about this distribution transformer suppose it is a transformer distribution transformer on our locality okay and in this transformer it's converted the low and kb to 415 voltage okay and it is directly connected to the post and you know it will be only few kilometers as the name indicates it is a distribution means the power is distributing to the consumers means to the houses okay here for example i just take this 11 kv it may be also the 6.6 .6 kv okay and you know it will be very depend upon the different countries i just mentioned the cases in india you could say the distribution transformer as an ending transformer because this distribution transformer is always installed at the end of the transmission line okay after this distribution transformer there would not be any other transformer and when we discuss about the load fluctuation it is very high on the case of this distribution transformer and we don't know when each consumer is switch on their loads or switch off their load that means at any time anything will happen because of this high load fluctuation the losses on this distribution transformer is high as i discussed earlier the copper loss and the iron loss and here the copper loss is mainly depends on this current okay. and here the iron loss is depends on this voltage it mainly happen at the time of the peak load you know the peak load is happening mainly on the night time during this time all the loads would be on at the same time at that time you know this distribution transformer could not deliver this 415 voltage and suppose these consumers are single phase loads and if it is 230 voltage okay and on the night time if you check with a multimeter this voltage level you could see a 210 voltage or 200 voltage just like that you know it is the voltage fluctuation okay and due to that the iron losses will be more due to the high losses in this transformer the efficiency is always around 75 to 85 percentage if this distribution transformer is installed on our locality we could not predict when this load will be switched on or off due to that the losses will be more and the lifetime of this distribution transformer will be less means it will be damaged very easily but in the case of industries the situation is just opposite because you know engineers would maintain their load in an efficient way and due to that their transformers lifetime will be more if you get any valuable information from this video please like this video and i am giving all this information from my work experience okay so for to get lot of videos with more information please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon thanks for watching